Well, it's fairly nice outside if you've been outside. Ah. Oh. So nice to have it. It is. You, you definitely know that spring is here. It's in the air. Yeah, the and allergies are also acting up. Allergies, <laughs> of course, with the wind. John Fredericks has an outlook for us. Johnny? Boy, we give Kamiko the gig for day. She's already over there whining. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we love you, Shira. Thanks. Let's uh, jump outside where right now it is beautiful. Look at that. 79 degrees under mostly sunny skies. 16% humidity. Winds variable at 6. Now, the winds have been rather brisk depending upon where you are across the valley, particularly on the north side. And they actually have been uh, much stronger out of McCarran in the last couple of hours. So I uh, expect that variable at six just to be really notwithstanding in most cases and most areas. A locally breezy day continues to be in the forecast. We'll talk more about that. We'll have the weekend outlook all coming up as well. Shara, Scott. All right, Johnny, thank you. It may seem like a joke, but it is a contest that's downright dirty. Coming up, see why this messy apartment, is that the messy apartment? Ugh, that is. Why that messy apartment may be winning $10,000. Plus your complete forecast, the Fredericks Fact for a Thursday afternoon and a huge live studio audience we'll introduce you to coming up next here on News 3 at noon, where news comes first. Apartments.com. You, apartments you saw that, that, that mold experiment. That, I mean, maybe he's a science uh, major or a biology major or something. That's the only way. We, that kind of gives me the heebie jeebies. I'm sorry. He'll need that 10000 to buy a date because I don't think he'll be bringing anyone back to his apartment for quite some time. That was, well, yeah. that was college for you. Yeah, it's well, a little glimpse. you know, on to something better and more beautiful. The, the weather. weather. And John. Oh, thank you. And thanks for the nice story leading into weather. Uh, there you go. Getting it's paid, Allison's fault. Getting paid for being a slob. There you go. Look at that. Those people out there policing the grounds out by the uh, Luxor and things looking wonderful from our Mandalay Bay cam. And uh, outside right now, it is 79 degrees out at McCarran. That is already 7 degrees above our normal afternoon high of 72. 16% humidity. Winds variable at 6, barometer falling at 29.79. But you can see the palm fronds blowing around out there in the wind. So we know that it is locally breezy out there. And if you pop your head outside, you know that as well. Before we uh, take a world view and then a local view, we do want to introduce you to um, just a whole slew of uh, fourth graders from St. Anne's School. And it's so cool that you all called each other this morning and said, what are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? And you all coordinated your outfits. Give yourselves a big round of applause. And I understand that we have a couple of birthday people in the uh, group. By the way, you're on that camera over there. Uh, who's the birthday kids? Ray, OK, happy birthday. Very good. And you're how old today? 10. Well, give them a big round of applause. Here for them. There you go. Okay. Uh-huh. Wave. Yeah, all right. Bye. And when you get to be my age, you cry when they come around. All right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about, oh, my goodness, our uh, wonderful producer just said I have about a minute and a half to talk about a whole bunch of stuff and then give folks a uh, chance when silence is golden, so let's get rich. They said that to me when I was your age. 50, it, was, it, was, it wasn't funny then either. 52 up on the mountain, 82 over the hump and Perums, 81 Henderson, 79 right now in Nellis. We'll top out officially, probably around 82 degrees. Those winds going to be brisk in the outlying areas and even maybe in the central part of the valley, 15 to 25 plus. It now looks like it's either, it's just going to be a toss up between today and tomorrow, what's going to be the breeziest day of the week. Good air quality though, almost all good, just a couple of moderate readings of dust, but that's okay. We can handle it. 80 for yesterday, 72 is a normal, 72 is just a dream. It's not going to happen anytime soon. If you'd like your daily uh, allergy report pollen count, you can click onto our website, kvbc.com. We have a link that takes you right there to pollen.com. Okay, we'll uh, quickly show you there has been some severe weather down in the southeastern part of the country. For us, we get these frontal systems that move through and then big areas of high pressure build in behind it. The difference between the two systems gives us the wind. But all the trouble is down in central and southern Florida. And you can see from the computer data right there, it says that's where all the rain should be. And uh, occasionally computers are absolutely dead on. And that's what's happening. We've had some severe thunderstorms in central uh, and northern Florida in the last several hours. Right now, uh, we actually do have a severe thunderstorm watch posted for most of northern Florida at this time. And you can see 
The reds indicating very strong thunderstorms and this cluster of moisture just continuing to hammer down in the southeast. And uh, most of the moisture as you get further up in the mid in, in the northern Atlantic, not nearly as strong in terms of severity, but still some light to moderate rain as far north as D.C. and even up in the northeast. Not much going on out in the southwest. Just about out of time, so we'll give you your travel forecast and then give you a chance to win. It is Food Thursday, and no wonder Kamiko's here. Uh, <laughs> hey. hey, I'm just kidding. Come That's on, stop terrible. it. All right. Beautiful the southwest, rainy across much of the east, northeast, no problem today. Quickly, we go with this hour's edition of the Frederick's Fact. Blue Iguana is here from Circus Circus. They're going to show us some wonderful food in just a moment. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to throw in a couple of tickets to see Lori Morgan, country superstar, over at the uh, Orleans on Sunday. Metal part of a lamp that surrounds the bulb and supports the shade is called the blank. Don't yell it out if you know it, kids. Metal part of the lamp that surrounds the bulb and supports the shade is called the blank. Call us, 657-3425, with your first correct answer. You and a guest going to eat uh, fine dining at Blue Iguana over at Circus Circus, and we'll toss in two tickets to see Lori Morgan on Sunday over at the Orleans. Shara, Scott? All right. right. Thank well, you, John. Still ahead, find out how you can tell the difference of rare coins or one that's just worth face value. Hold the phone calls. We have a winner for the Fredericks Fact. We'll have that, your weekend outlook, and maybe a plan for part of your weekend. All coming up next year on News 3 at noon. The news comes first. And reduce the value, and I kind of inspected some of the change in my pocket. Two quarters in my pocket, and I found out these two quarters are worth... 50 cents. 50 cents. Exactly right. There you go. That's about well, it. Well, that's not true. You can make a phone call from that. You could parlay that into millions. There you go. That's one checking, way to look at it. Checking my penny, and it's not a 1909 SVDB. Bummer. That was always the, the thing we were looking for as kids is that, that, that 1909 SVDB. That was your retirement check yeah. if that was the right penny. And I don't understand. My, uh, my relative worth is not going to. I've been double struck several times. But I'm bum. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Put up those numbers. We're going to get you all the way through the answer to the Fredericks fact and more. 79 degrees, 16% humidity, winds variable at 6. Now you can see, even from our Rio can, now keep in mind, this is merely a snapshot. It happens in just a moment of time out at uh, McCarran. It's an automated system that happens right at the top of the hour. So at that moment, there was just a variable breeze at 6. We know that the winds are uh, swirling around out there, and they're going to continue to do so. Let's go ahead and uh, show up your forecast if we can. We'll probably top out in the low 80s. We could hit our high as we did yesterday of 84, but I think 81, 83, 84 is a good number, so we'll call it 82. But those northwest winds at times still going to be brisk. Again, we're going to have to deal with at least today, tomorrow, maybe lingering into early Saturday, but most of the weekend, just gorgeous. Air quality, good. High counts of uh, mulberry tree pollen. There you see yesterday, 84 degrees. Forget about the normal of 72. And if you just now join us, do want to remind you, you can get a direct link to your daily allergy report, pollen.com. We have a link to it from uh, in our website, kvbc.com. The uh, jet stream, the upper level wind pattern, is actually taking a dip and it's diving now right over the top of us. It's not really bringing much in the way of cooler air. We've got a few embedded little uh, weak systems moving through and as they come through behind them, we get those strong winds. And all it is is a difference in pressure at the surface or pressure gradient that we see and that's the result is wind. So uh, it's going to hang around on and off for the next 24 to 36 hours, and then uh, things should calm down. 62 LA, 57 Flagstaff, 70 degrees right now in St. George. Uh, the big cool down I expect at the beginning of the week really is never materialized and won't. We might shave a couple degrees off the afternoon high tomorrow, and then that's about it. Don't forget this is your last week to ski up the Las Vegas Ski and Snowboard Resort. Uh, Going to be windy up on the hill, but still beautiful. Locally breezy, you might get some chop down uh, along the river and out on the lake today. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s from Lake Mead to Laughlin. 82 today with those afternoon uh, breezes really picking up. 79 still locally breezy tomorrow, probably not quite as windy as I initially expected. 81, maybe some early morning breezes on Saturday, but beautiful and 86 degrees on Sunday. Speaking of Saturday, uh, my son and I would like to invite you to a wonderful Bin. event. 
And that's coming up on uh, Saturday. Oh. The second Look annual Mix 94.1. It's called Petapalooza, named after a concert. Aesthetic there. there. Poor little thing. Oh, he's fine. Oh. Uh, it's happening Saturday at Craigan <laughs> Park from 11 to 4. Free admission. You can bring your dog as long as it pooch is friendly and just make sure that they're on a leash. We hope to see you there. Metal part of a lamp that surrounds the bulb and supports the shade is called a... Yes, absolutely. It's called a harp. And congratulations to Carol Grant. She knew that. She's got dinner for two at Blue Iguana. They're here in our studio. You're going to meet them in just a moment. And we're also going to see uh, Center to See Country Superstar Lori Morgan. She's in concert Sunday over at the Orleans. Well, very fun. cool. All right, Johnny. Thank you very much. Thank Speaking you. of Blue Iguana.